everybody, it's me, Miss Foot Fixer. We have this lovely patient here um, that has had a ward that has been treated 20 times with cryotherapy. 20 times is a lot, isn't it? And what we did is, because she's here from far away uh, uh, and there's multiple things that's going on with her life, we decided to do the silver nitrate salicylic acid treatment. And what we're doing now, this is one week after treatment and we are just scraping everything away. So this white tissue is all that kind of acid curdling the tissue uh, and 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 just kind of causing tissue damage. Uh, if you are a subscriber of my channel and you've been watching all my treatments, you know that uh, there's no cure for warts, but what we can do is we can trigger the immune system to fight it. And one of the treatments is using acid treatments. And what we're doing is just scraping it all away right now. And hopefully we'll see some nice clear tissue. But when you have had cryotherapy for, for such a long, long time, it just means that the body's immunity doesn't want to get rid of it. So we hope that... By doing this, it will trigger the body's immunity. But also, it's, it's caused some nice amount of tissue damage. Looks really nice and macerated. Probably repeat the procedure again. It was quite tender, wasn't it, last time when we tried to scrape oh. a, a bit of it off, didn't we? We had to stop because it was quite tender, but actually now you can tolerate more of it off. Mm. Still some here. You see the black dot, so it tells you how deep it is. It's a mosaic wart, so it's very stubborn. Uh, this is a lot flatter, but there's still some of the water it's tissue still there. Yeah. yeah. But um, hopefully, we'll, we will repeat. This big one on, on top is still there. The bottom bit is oh. a lot less. Yeah, there's some nice tissue underneath here, which is fantastic. So what you want is kind of normal striated tissue, which we'll see some beginning, especially around this corner too. So I would stick with this treatment because I think it's definitely some benefit.
it's very good. It's very, very good. So you guys might not, you know, you might think, what is going on with this white tissue? But that's all the water tissue and we're scraping it away. And what we can see at the base is, yes, there's some of it still there, but when she first came, we, do we have any picture? Do we take any pictures, Stephanie? Do you remember? I don't think so. Yeah. It was really big and cauliflowery. But actually, this looks really, really nice. And, and, and uh, okay, so this bit is obviously still a bit of water there. But this is really, really good. So probably getting a bit tender now. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. It's nice, healthy, healthier tissue. So sometimes you don't need kind of fancy kind of equipment or or things. To be honest, sometimes the old school kind of like acid silver nitrate works really, really well. Okay, I think we'll just stop here because it's getting a bit tender for the patient. I'm going to do this bit here. I think we'll just repeat Stephanie. Okay, so we can press belt and everything like that. Okay, excellent. So let's have a look. Okay, so what we have is these lovely pads. So we're just going to cut this up. There we are, just pop it inside. What we're going to do is just put some. Do I want to cut some? Yeah, just put some sulfuric acid on the water, some more of this stuff. I think what I'm going to do is, I would like to have some cotton wool in a minute, and Stephanie. I'm just going to pack it around. So this, now this time, it might actually hurt. I know why I need, I need the oval pads. So I'm just going to take that in there just to contain it. And then what I want to do is just put that also in there. Today. Now what I'm going to do is just cut two like that. For all you foot care assistants out there and podiatrists, you will learn the way to dress the toes after many years of seeing many different types of patients. You'll figure it out. Don't worry, everything you will figure out. Oh, Stephanie, can I have another one, please? And there's really no wrong or right way. You want to just obviously protect the, the area as much as possible. Voila. And then you take two secure. And take your foot back for me, please. Like that, excellent. Oh, we'll give her some plasters for her when she takes off the. So the the plan now is to leave this on for seven days, 
and then she'll have a couple of days rest without any kind of uh, major dressing or pads and then she'll come and see me it will be drier and then I can have a look at the, the base of the wound and see how everything is Dressing. Um, just split putting this in between the toes. If you leave a dressing on for one week, you walk around, it comes off. So you want to extra secure it, and you create these little tiny corners. It just allows it to slot in very easily, really, really well. You want to make sure it's not too tight. I'm going to move it and then you put one on top. That's kind of like an anchor. For loads of dressing, because it just, it, it needs it, it's going to come off. I'll put another one. Voila. Again, check for signs of infection, redness, swelling, pain. You have the antibiotics yeah. take it, but I would say you might need the painkillers because it's going to be more sensitive. Maybe not today, tomorrow or the next day, like before, where the pain increases. Fantastic. Thank you, Stephanie.